Welcome back to Dell Support Tutorials. My name is Holton, and today we're going to utilize the SOS command to gather support logs. First steps, you're going to want to SSH into the STDC manager. You will first need to log in as the VCF user. Once there, you're going to have to then SU into root. Now that you're logged into the SSH session of STDC manager, you can see in the notepad behind that these are all the syntax that you can use for the command to gather specific logs. During a support session, we may not need everything. We may need certain logs at certain times. We may not want to worry about a health check and we may not want to clear an old log bundle. For the testing purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to run it without the health check. So the Log collection utility is located in forward slash op, forward slash VMware, forward slash STDC support, forward slash SOS. And then you input the desired syntax with a dash dash zip. Now the zip will actually, at the end of the collection, zip up and get one bundle for you. Uh, the dash dash force will make sure that it will run with other actions being taken place inside SDC Manager. So right here, it's gonna start, right? You can see right above it under the logs that that's the location that it will store the file once it's done collecting and zipping. That location is var log VMware VCF SDDC dash support. And then it will be the date, SOS and then the date. And it is a tar.gz file. What's nice about this log collection is you'll be able to see which step it's on. So you can see right now it's on vRealize logs. Once vRealize finishes, you'll see the next pop up. Now it's collecting the VCF summary logs. The next one to pop up, you'll see the next collection. Now we're gonna fast forward the video just a little bit because this log collection does take quite a bit of time, depending on how many nodes you have in your workload domains and um, how many separate components like vRealize, vROPS, and, and NSX and stuff like that. So once it's done, you'll get a completion. It'll sit there and look like it's hanging for a while. And don't worry, this is the process of the zip. So if you want to actually you can log in now with WinSCP or FileZilla using the VCF user. And the location of the files is like I mentioned before, it's going to be let me scroll up here, var log VMware VCF SDDC dash support. And then it's going to be labeled as SOS and then whatever date and time you gather the logs. So if you want to watch the zip, just to see how large it's getting, you navigate to that directory in WinSCP or FileZilla, and then you will be able to monitor. Once the SSH session returns you back to a prompt, you know that the zip task is complete. And then support will usually provide you with an FTP as these log files can get quite large. I believe the one in this tutorial ranged from about 17 gigs. Um, this is because it's collecting everything. We're getting STDC logs, we're getting VxRail Manager logs, we're getting vRealize logs, we're getting you know screenshots. We're getting ESX logs. We're getting vCenter and PSC logs. We're getting NSX logs. I mean, this command is very useful. And let's say you're, you're working uh, ESX problem. Not necessarily an SDDC manager problem, so you don't need to 
collect those, right? So your tag then would be in the background, you see the dash dash ESX. Or if you're working a vCenter issue, you'd only wanna grab the vCenter if we need to take a look. And then we can gather further logs if needed.